What's up, my little babies? It's your girl, Little Bit Guys, and I am back with another video, guys. As I say in every freaking video, guys, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hit that thumbs up, guys. If you have not watched my latest video, be sure to check it out, guys. Um, also, after you've watched this video, of course. But in today's video, we're going to be discussing why the twins do not like going home to Roy's house. I think it's so sad, guys. But we're going to be getting into that. Also... Now we're going to be talking about Rico and Iceland also, guys. We're going to be also discussing Royalty's uh, female lawyer as well as the other two lawyers that she lost. And guys, I just wanted to say, like, it's a lot of chaos going on around Royalty, uh, Charlene. Guys, is this her karma or is this just life in the way it goes? Um, yeah, but anyways, guys, let's get into this video. Let's talk about Royalty and her lawyer now. Royalty lawyer did drop her, allegedly due to how Royalty um, addressed it. And this is what Royalty had to say about people finding out that she had a new lawyer. Y'all, yeah. man, y'all too invested, y'all. Don't worry about it. What you do when, when you drop one, you get another one, that's it! Now, there's been a lot of speculation on you know, why this lawyer could have dropped her. Could it be that she don't have enough money to pay this lawyer? Could it be that they just didn't see eye to eye? She didn't like what the lawyer was talking about. Or maybe the lawyer didn't like her as a client. All right, guys, we don't even know. It could be, it can be many things. Maybe she's just trying to get court dates pushed back or who knows. What do you guys think in the comment down below? But she did do a new video addressing the fact that she do have another lawyer. Yeah, that's lawyer. As you guys noticed, she said get things in order and where they need to be, which states that she was not happy with how her other two lawyers were working, guys. So, I do believe those were male. And maybe she felt like they were moving against her, being that she is the mother and we have a father fighting for his kids. And kind of looking at the actions of Royalty, they were not fair to the father. And maybe she felt like they kind of moving male chauvinists towards her. So these male lawyers had to not be in agreement with the way Royalty's actions were towards CJ. And I guess, yeah, that's why she went and hired a female lawyer, guys. Now, she does say that the lawyer that she just hired now is a female, guys, and that she don't like what she's seen. Now, I want to say this towards what Royalty had to say. It does not matter if the lawyer liked what she's seen or didn't like what she saw. Um, I said this much. Whether she got a new lawyer or not, she cannot change the behavior or the image that Royalty has already exemplified. As you notice, again, I'm going to point out that Royalty said get things in order and get things straight, which means that give me guys make me think that she is losing um in court which we all know because we've seen royalty's actions ourselves so um just imagine what more they presented to the judge that we possibly don't know of now my point being made is this is why i feel like royalty went and specifically gotten a female lawyer guys to fight for her but y'all tell me y'all opinions down below, but I'm going to give y'all, I'm going to say this much. I feel like Royalty has already ruined it for herself. As we already seen Royalty's actions, um, it's no more that lawyer can straighten up with what Royalty has already put out there, guys. It is out there, like, that is just what it is. And there's no fixing it. She can't bend it and make it straight, guys. And if you think about the last court date and it went left for royalty and then we got this one coming up i believe someone said in my comments on the fifth of this month guys um it's gotten worse since then so and it's not just all on cj i know a lot of people want to point the finger at cj and say he's the reason why royalty is behaving the way she's behaving but that's not the truth royalty is behaving the way she's behaving because this is her way of throwing a hissy fit to get her way guys um but yeah um we shall see what takes place and I kind of can't wait to see what happens, but I hope it's not um, put off guys to another later date, which I'm thinking that's what Royalty is trying to do so that she can pull out this big win to hit CJ um, in areas that she feel like is not being seen by the judge. But 
<laughs> my opinion, I don't feel like it's going to work. Now, moving along to Rico Royalty and Isis, guys, we have Trauma and Paradise. Because, <laughs> see, he, he does it better, right? Okay, so, anyways, guys, so we have Isis throwing shots at Royalty, guys, or Charlene. Because I don't do YouTube. I personally think the shit a little bit weak, but, I mean, that's one hustle to a person that make videos. So, I'm just saying, I don't sit around and make videos all day. So, that's not my life. Listen, all I'm worried about is me and mine. I make sure my baby daddy got an amazing situation. He ain't never got to worry about me being no bitter baby mama. I don't give a fuck. I'ma make sure his kids together, bitch. Now, apparently, Rico and Royalty has unfollowed Iceland, guys. But we do know Iceland is still following Royalty, guys. But she is not following Rico anymore. So, it seems like to me that Rico and Iceland has an issue. Now, Iceland did go to her Instagram page and stated this towards Rico. Outside. We outside. I'm back outside. We back outside. Now, she also took a screenshot of what she was listening to. Which it was, he wasn't man enough for me by Tony Braxton. Now, Rico did see what Isis had to put up about him, so he also had a few choice of words for her and his story. Moving along, guys, let's talk about the twins and them never wanting to go home. I feel like that's a big problem, guys. Even though the twins are three years old, they're able to express themselves more. They're able to tell us how they really feel um at this particular age now the other day in cj's live baby cj did hit his dad in the face and cj was playing and he told daya and what's sad is they used her mom house um as a form of punishment guys let's just take a look I mean, oh i'm about to end this live ow 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 Ow! Ow! Yeah, CJ hit me. What you gonna do? Dad's gonna whoop you, CJ. Guys, I'm gonna say this much about that. I feel like that's that looks really bad. Um, for a kid to cower down, hide their face at the mention of going home with a mother. Like, what? Charlene is their mom, like the only mother they know, guys. And they don't want to go home with her. That's a problem. There's either something going on in the household, um, and the babies are not fond of it. Or they're rather bored, guys, and they don't have much to do or not being stimulated with mom. And they just don't want to be there. I do not believe this is brainwashed or um, CJ talking them against them. That was a lie, guys. You cannot act in a lie. It is what it is. Um, that's why a lot of people don't do lives. So I will say that I feel like... I feel like it's a bit of both. Um, to me, I feel like they get more love at CJ's house, guys, just watching the videos. You can see they get more snuggles, more um, focus. They get, I feel like CJ, Lexi, and Lexi's mom focus more on the twins than they do any other kid in the house. And that's perfectly fine because they are considered preschoolers, guys. So I feel like they don't get the same love and attention at Royalty's <laughs> Okay, guys, you know it's the 4th of July. I can't even take that out because even if I try to re-record re this, it's still going to be in the background. But um, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching my videos. And i see you guys in the next video. And also, happy 4th of July, guys. Even though I celebrate Juneteenth. Bye!